Creating balance for me is balancing the um, line, tone, mark, colour and um, and a kind of imbalance as well at the same time but coming up with something right at the end which hopefully works. Creating balance means to me um, balancing text and image um, both visually on a page and within the mind of the reader. I think Creating balance to us as photographers um, often involves creating the right balance in an image or in a scene. As wedding photographers, I think that it's important that we capture imagery um, or produce imagery that best reflects our couples, um, their relationships, um, their personalities. Um, but in turn, we need to make sure that we balance this out correctly with the right lighting, the right angles, the right background. So basically all these things need to come together to produce a beautiful imagery that our couples are going to want to keep forever. We have to be quite clear about what hats we're wearing, whether we're, um, we're artists or whether we're mum and dad. So um, our kids are quite good, they know if my studio door is shut, I'm working. But working at home has its advantages too because we have all our meals together. So when we're doing our various things, we're away and we're working, but then we can meet up in the evening and have meals together. When we first started out, I was full throttle, driving the business as fast as we could, and I'm really pushing it. Um, there was little time for our own personal life. Um, weeks were spent uh, editing, booking, finding you know, weddings, and the weekends were doing the weddings and events. Um, so I think we've really you know, learned to juggle these two things and create a balance to us as the balance of these two things, you know, still driving the business, but yet having a, a social life. The lamp really helps with the detailed work, especially doing dry points and etchings. You need to um, be making very, very tiny marks, and the lamp really helps to bring out the definition in those. Um, and I've used the lamp um, drawing at the drawing board, but um, I've also enjoyed using it, reading books with the kids on the sofa. I think uh, since receiving the lamp, I'd say we've certainly been inspired to look beyond weddings a little bit and um, we've booked in some time to work on our own personal projects, um, either with the lamp or with other bits and pieces. I also think it's important when you're in the creative industry to continuously stay inspired. So I think the lamp and the techniques with the double exposure that we use today um, have certainly sparked a new wave of creativity for us. We live in Britain's only island city and it's surrounded by a quality of light which is unlike anywhere else and um, reflects onto the um, area to give it a very distinctive uh, feel and light. That, and that for me is really amazing to try and depict. When I make a picture I'm always thinking about the type of light um, source that's, that's going on in the picture, whether it's moonlight or sunlight or a sunset. Um, different type of light will um, have an emotional effect on the scene you're looking at. With photography, whether it be natural light, studio light, um, if there is no light, there's no image, so it's crucial to our work. As wedding photographers and with our style, we're very natural. We rely a lot on the natural light. Um, it kind of really makes and breaks an image for us. Um, so yeah, it's very important. I'm Sadie Tierney and I'm a printmaker and I use paint and film. And I'm Neil Layton, I'm, I'm an illustrator and an author. Hi, I'm Philippa. And I'm Gemma. And we're Cotton Candy Photography. We're alternative wedding photographers. <laughs>